Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you again so very much for this modern technology. I thank you for the opportunity to spread your word through this street, this realm, this this modern world that, that Satan is out to use to come to kill, steal, and destroy from us. And I'm just so thankful that you've laid it upon my heart to do these things. I'm more grateful and more thankful for the friends that you've put in my life right now who continuously encourage me to keep going forward, keep moving on, to focus on what it is God wants me to do. Lord, I wanted to run, and I wanted to run hard. I was ready to just leave it all again. And I'm just so thankful for the passion and the boldness and, and the friends that you have placed in my life to help hold me together when I feel like I'm losing it. Lord, my heart is broken for all those out there who Satan is just tormenting and torturing. And I pray, Lord, through these videos that, that they are drawn to you and come to know you and understand you and love you as I do. And may you just continue to bless us beyond compare for our obedience in coming to you, for those who continuously watch video after video after video. And even for those who just tune in and watch one or two videos, Lord, I pray that what is said has come from you to draw them in, that that's the video you chose for them to watch. That's the video that you're going to use to bring them closer to you. Lord, that's my only desire here. That is my only desire. I'm so thankful to be your vessel. I'm so thankful to have come to understand this precious gift that you have bestowed upon me. And I ask, Lord, that it pours out on others and that you bestow that same gift upon them as well. Help them as they are continuously on their knees praying daily, fervently for their families. Help them to gain their focus, their passion, their identity, their family. Help them to overcome their past as we finish this chapter, Lord. And may we just continue to walk together. May they know that their prayers and requests are heard, that I will gladly join them for where two or more are gathered. The prayers and requests are heard. And thank you so much for your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, guys. Remember, we're dealing with our past. There's a whole bunch of instructions. There's a whole bunch of do nots. But then there's the promises that he gives us. You have to read the book in its entirety. And if you're one of those who can pick up the Bible and read it from cover to cover, great, wonderful, awesome. If you're new to Christ, you just dedicated your life to him, and you have no idea where to start, I encourage you to go to the New Testament and read the red. That's it. Just read where Jesus is talking. And then as you're doing that, may he just pour out uh, this desire and hunger for you to grab more of his word and his promises. So much so that you can't even, you can't eat, drink, or sleep. Because you have such a strong desire to get to know your Father in Heaven and all that He has for you. We all have choices to make. But again, there are choices. And we make those choices based on the information we have at that time, the knowledge and wisdom we have at that time. For you young people out there watching this, you need to heed the wisdom and the words of the elderly around you you will get so much further faster than we did if you would just listen and learn but may God give you the ears to hear the eyes to see and the heart for the brokenhearted so that you are listening and learning from the right people from the right source all right, guys, enough of that. Okay, so this verse is Psalm 30, verses 4 through 5. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. 
one of the things that I started doing a, a, quite a few months ago now, probably actually about a year ago now, is that I don't care what time of day it is, I basically say good morning because the blessings come, you know, rejoice with the morning. The blessings come when you say good morning to someone. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I do my best to remember, good morning, good morning. People look at me like, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Well, blessings come with the morning. So that's what I do. Singing the praises of your Lord. When you guys are totally... When God bestows that hunger in you, remember, God's going to use people, places, and things to turn your life around and bring you back to him. Those songs, there's a lot to be said. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little feet, where you walk. Okay? For those of you who are new to Christ, you might want to help yourself and, and go get a Sunday school CD. There's a lot to be said about the songs and the scriptures for kids. A lot to be said. I don't know how you start your morning. I don't know how you start your day. But mine here lately, thankfully, I am still able to spend at least an hour with my Lord. I am able to give him an hour out of my 24 hours. And during that hour, I am probably a half hour, 15 minutes to a half hour, depends upon what I'm reading and studying at the time. But the rest of the time, I'm busy singing. I'm, I'm busy. I have in my car the Christian CD playing. And all I did was go on my laptop here and grab some songs that, that fed me and feeds me at that time. And that's what I listened to especially before I come to record for you, because I want to make sure that I am passing on his word, his wisdom, his knowledge, and his instruction to you. Just because I do something doesn't mean that's right for you. Only you can decide that. Only God can tell you and show you. But again, if, if, we're, if we're, you know, staying back there in the past with Satan, and, and, and you're not... And you're not rejoicing every morning for the day God has just given you? If you woke up this morning and you're watching this video, you need to give him thanks for giving you yet another day to get to know him. Another day to learn about him and what he has for you and your family and your future. And if you're single, your future spouse. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. Okay? For his anger lasts only a moment. He's going to discipline you to get your attention. But once that's done, he's busy rejoicing and being thankful. He's favored onto you for, oh, wow, okay, this person finally woke up and saw what, you know, let's move forward now. That was a stumbling block. That was keeping them from climbing that mountain. That was keeping them from the blessing I had for them. The angels rejoice. They sing. They dance. Because you have overcome that stumbling block. You have recognized what was in the way and keeping you from what it is God has for you. Dwell not on the past. He's making a way for you. You need to sing the praises unto him, being thankful for what he has done for you. See the instructions in these verses? He's not just going to spank your hiney. He's going to give you something to move forward to. He wants you to climb the mountain. He wants you to see the view from the top. And man, is it awesome. Oh, it's flipping great. All right. Uh, Psalm 30, okay. Like a shot given by a doctor, the discomfort of God's anger lasts only a moment. But the good effects go on for a long time. Let God's anger be a sharp pain that warns you to turn from sin. That's all he's doing. That's, that's, he just wants you to turn away from that stuff. And he does it for us daily. 
for some of us, me included, it's more than once a day. We need to remain one with him. We need to remain in the Holy Spirit. We the Holy the the Holy Trinity is what you walk in when you give your life to Christ. And we need to learn to walk on his promises. We need to learn to sing the praises of the Lord. Excuse me, pardon me. It's just like when we discipline our kids, for his anger lasts only a moment. You swat them on the butt, the pain is gone, they learn their lesson, they move on. Just like the shot you get from the doctor. The pain lasts for the moment, but the shot for whatever you needed the shot for, prayerfully, helps. And that's the purpose. That's what he uses to his anger, if you will. Come on, guys. Weep for the night, but rejoice in the morning that he gave you another day. This is the battlefield. This is the this is where we win. This is where the battles are won. And praying fervently for all those things, your focus, your passion, your identity, your family, praying to get over your past. That is the mightiest weapon you have against Satan. That is how you defeat him in this fallen world. Can't believe it has taken me this long to figure that out. See? Look, I'm just like you. I'm still learning. I dedicated my life to Christ over 20 years ago and uh, could have had a V8 moment, just figured out that the gift that he has given to me, in my humble opinion, is the greatest gift out there, and that is the gift of prayer. I've had people telling me that over and over and over and over again throughout my life. Wow, he's given you the gift of prayer. Wow, he's given you the pr gift of prayer. Oh, you need something prayed for? Go see Lisa. No, I'm not boasting here. No, I'm not being proud. I'm trying to instill in you how important fervent prayer is, just like Priscilla says in her book. That is the mightiest weapon we have. God gave it to you. He's giving it to you through these videos that you continuously come back and watch over and over and over and over again. Video after video after video, scripture after scripture after scripture, instruction after instruction after instruction, promise after promise after promise. Come on, guys. Where are those ten families I asked for? The ripple effect. Ten families. That's it. That's all I ask. Ten families fervently in prayer for one another. For your own families and for each other. Because prayer is where it's at. Come on, guys. We can do this. We will sing the praises of the Lord by rejoicing in the morning and that's whenever your morning is some of you work mornings some of you work swings some of you work mids whatever is your morning sing praises unto the Lord rejoicing with the coming of the morning that you were given another day I love you guys and I pray someone is getting something out of this I pray that this is drawing each and every one of you closer to your Lord and Savior and the promises he has for you. This is the whole purpose of these videos is for you and for me for when I'm struggling and I'm falling and I can't figure out what's going on or, you know, I have the attacks coming on too. You're not alone. That's what these videos are for. I can't tell you how many times I go back and I read my own story, watch my own videos. Friends of mine who kick me in the butt to do so. I'm kicking you in the butt. Come on. Come with me. Video by video. Scripture by scripture. Leave your comments below and let us know what you learned from each of these. So we can help others along the way. Remember speaking positivity, encouraging, inspiring, and motivating? Come on, guys. Join me on this walk. It is flippin' awesome. Until the next video.